Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes, Devon Branch, and on this uh, lovely um, July, is it July 2023 day, uh, we're doing a quick walk around video on this uh, very rare uh, and available to purchase a brand new Compass Avantgarde CV80 van conversion. So Compass, they are the same company as Eldis and they are part of the wider Heimer group and they've been building motorhomes and caravans uh, out of their factory in concert for many many years and the Compass and Eldis CV range um, back when chassis availability was a bit better was uh, I think Britain's best selling range of van conversions um, might be wrong on that but it's certainly certainly well up there anyway uh, now the CV80 came out a couple of years ago and it took the best selling CV40 and added a pop top to the roof now that's actually the same pop top as you'll find on uh, Heimacar van conversions so uh, as uh, the uh, parent company um, gave them their sort of kit basically so you're getting a uh, Heimer uh, car pop top on the best selling um, CV40 floor plan. So they're Fitch Cato based on the new X8 cab. Uh, it's 5.99 metres long, so it's the long wheelbase, uh, 2.05 body width, and uh, height wise, I don't know, probably about 2.8 metres, something like that. This particular one's a manual gearbox in white. It's our uh, only one we have left for the model year and for the foreseeable future. And it's priced at 69.853. Now I think the prices have gone up since this uh, got delivered as well. So you're getting this at, at less than um, at less less than list price today. So it's, it's a good buy for someone. This one, obviously, being brand new, you get full three year warranties as well so it's the 140 brake engine not the 120 uh, it's uh, four berth four seat belt uh, six meters long overall width 2.5 that would be with the mirrors out so uh, that's a bit bit confusing 2.6 high tall three and a half ton with a payload of about 400 kilos it's got alloy wheels and price is 69.853 so you might decide to add like a reversing camera or some other bits and bobs to it but it still comes in um, very competitively priced for a new van with the uh, with the pop top on it so looking around the outside so uh, we've got full color coding the new x8 sort of eggshell grille got some smart 16 inch fit, factory fitted alloys uh, electrically heated and adjustable manual fold mirrors uh, you've got a nice LED awning light up there. We can fit you a uh, wind-out canopy if you want. Uh, you've got an electric step and fly screen door to come across there. And uh, double glazed windows all the way around. They're not the flush fit ones, but at least they are double glazed, unlike a uh, water sleeper who use single glazed ones. Um, so lounge windows. You've got an end lounge and a front half done out. We'll have a look at the inside from the inside. Uh, coming around the back, so if you want a reversing camera fitted, we can do so. Now, one of the things I do like is there's four windows around the end lounge. So let's have a look in here. Open up that. And yes, yeah, so you open it up into a decent size end lounge. Now, it's not big enough for single beds, so it makes a transverse double very, very easy as well. And I think these are around about sort of four and a half foot-ish, something like that, there or thereabouts. Uh, so you've got a nice two-tone uh, cabinet work. You've got the more expensive concertina-style blinds and fly screens. And then there's access to under here for storage. So that's all empty down there. So it's loads of storage there think leisure batteries under this one and you can either access that to the end or you can lift it up or you got locker doors that come down there so yeah uh, that's all good so yeah four windows around the back uh, TV bracket is there and you've got a TV aerial on the roof uh, coming down the driver's side we've got your mains hook up there toilet cassette emptying point there Underneath there's uh, water tanks under the floor and there are your drain taps there for fresh and waste water. Water fill up point there and then there's a 20 kilo, 20 litre underslung gas tank um, which saves space for carrying gas bottles. Um, no, saves space so you don't because you don't need to carry gas bottles <laughs> it's quite late in the day today and uh, you just fill that up at an LPG pump at a petrol station so you've got bigger capacity uh, more efficient use of space because it's underneath the van and you can fill up all across the UK and abroad as well so lounge window bathroom window front half dinette 
window. Uh, opening up the driver's door. So it's the new XH Cato. So you've got all these new door cards with drinks holders, uh, central locking, le lecky windows, lecky mirrors. We've got the semi-digital dash, which is really cool. Little stereo system that can do your phone calls as well. You've got cruise control, cab air conditioning, and the new six-speed uh, manual gearbox and uh, passenger air bag. And auto headlights, I think, by the look of it. Yeah, auto headlights as well, because that's the, the sensor up there. Now, there's no cab blinds on it, and they come with some external screens for darkening, uh, which most people are fine with. But if you do want some cab blinds fitting, we can fit them personally. I find I always use my silver screens anyway, uh, even on vans with cab blinds. So there's not really much point in having the cab blinds because you've got your silver screens on for darkening anyway. Um, and that way you've got a bigger glass area because you haven't got the, the frame for the blinds. But if you do want cab blinds fitted, we can, of course, fit them for you. So that's the outside. It's a nice looking van. So coming to the inside, You've got a front table which clips onto there that's got a leaf which extends so you can uh, have four people sat around there's a bit of storage over the cab that's where the loose fit carpets are at the minute and then you've got the uh, fantastic really really big double bed in the roof which is very very smart you probably can't get an idea how big that is but it's massive and a full-size opening hecky roof light in the pop tops when it's down you've got light and even when it's up as well which is really really smart i think so again two-tone curved cabinet work there's two forward facing seat belted seats there so you can carry passengers with you a little bit of flip up worktop there storage drawers and a plug for your kettle and we've got two good size high level cupboards and a full oven as well, which is not something you see on every van conversion out there. So that's a combi oven and grill with three gas burners and a good bit of storage. Someone's left their can of coke in there, dearie me. <laughs> uh, as you come in the door, there's a really straightforward control panel. Why well, overcomplicate things? So literally you just got master on off, water pump on off, inside lights, outside light, engages for water and battery. How simple as that? Now heating is uh, taken care of from Whale in Northern Ireland, which a lot of van converters are moving to the Whale heating and hot water system. So it's a combined heating and hot water system, runs off gas from your tank if you're not hooked up, or mains electric if you are hooked up, and that heats your van, heats your water, and the system itself is actually fitted underneath the van. So again, it's taken up no space, which is critical, of course, in uh, any van conversion. So storage under there, there's your uh, extra plug socket as well there. 12 volt fridge freezer, a decent size. A good size freezer compartment at the top and some door pockets. Then your wardrobe's underneath. So the wardrobe's down there. Now there's another table, which is a freestanding one. So you can put it outside or you can put it back here. So that's a, quite a nice feature. TV bracket there. A couple of plug sockets and a 12 volt socket and TV point. Now the bathroom is very much like every other van conversion on the market. I think it's quite a good one because I like the fact it's got an opening window which is good. You've got this nice posh freestanding basin and then your shower comes out of there which is very very cool. So I'll just come up and clip up to up there. So that's about it really. So it's a rare opportunity to actually just walk in and buy a new van. That doesn't happen very often. And uh, it's brand new unregistered. It's a compass. Avantgarde CV80 uh, van conversion, four berth, four seat bolts, three and a half ton, based on the six metre Fiat Ducato. So if you're interested, um, check us out on Google, give us a call, hit the motorhome sales option, um, leave us a message if we're out here doing videos, or you can ring the mobile direct, which is 07432662558. You can see us on the Highbridge Caravans website, leave a comment on the YouTube thing, or come and see us, because that's the uh, A38 South Devon Expressway over there, so we are right on the biggest road in South Devon and ask us about this lovely Compass Avantgarde CV80. Thank you very much. Goodbye.